Mina, Gun Bonwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with Esther Chapter 7. And this is where the evil Haman gets his, so to speak. In other words, he gets completely destroyed. We're going to start at verse 1. So the king and Haman went to dine with Queen Esther. And on the second day, at the banquet of wine, the king again said to Esther, What is your petition, Queen Esther? It shall be granted you. And what is your request? Up to half the kingdom? It shall be done. Then Queen Esther answered and said, If I have found favor in your sight, O king, and if it pleases the king, let my life be given me at my petition, and my people at my request. For we have been sold, my people and I, to be destroyed, to be killed, and to be annihilated. Had we been sold as male and female slaves, I would have held my tongue, although the enemy can never compensate for the king's loss. So King Ahasuerus answered and said to Queen Esther, Who is he, and where is he, who would dare presume in his heart to do such a thing? And Esther said, The adversary and enemy is this wicked Haman. So Haman was terrified before the king and queen. Then the king arose in his wrath from the banquet of wine and went into the palace garden. But Haman stood before Queen Esther, pleading for his life, for he saw that evil was determined against him by the king. When the king returned from the palace garden to the place of the banquet of wine, Haman had fallen across the couch where Esther was. Then the king said, Will he also assault the queen while I am in the house? As the word left the king's mouth, they covered Haman's face. Now Harbona, one of the eunuchs, said to the king, Look, the gallows, fifty cubits high, which Haman made for Mordecai, who spoke good on the king's behalf, is standing at the house of Haman. Then the king said, Hang him on it. So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then the king's wrath subsided. Talk about getting wrecked. That is like the textbook case of someone getting completely owned. And it couldn't have happened to a more appropriate fellow. Haman tried to destroy the Jews, and instead he got hanged on the gallows on which he was going to hang his arch nemesis, who refused to bow to him, Mordecai. And, and anyone who purposes evil in their hearts, anyone who does that which is wrong, who falls into sin, and refuses to repent, eventually that day of destruction will come. You won't be able to get out of it. No amount of pleading, 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 if I can speak English here, <laughs> even if you can speak English correctly, no amount of pleading, begging, crying, nothing will, nothing will let you escape. Nothing will get you away from the king's wrath. And here the king is God. Nothing will let you escape. Nothing. It's too late. You've crossed the line. There is no more repentance of sin. You've crossed the line. You're done. You're finished. And even if it doesn't happen in this life, and I personally believe from just from what I've seen, from what I've read in here, and from what I've seen, eight to nine times out of ten, you get yours in this life. But if you're somehow the 1% or the 0.01% who get away with all their wickedness, in the life to come, you will stand before God in judgment. Recently talked about that in one of my 30-minute messages. And you will be found out. You will be tried. You will be guilty. And you will be punished. And the punishment at that point is hell forever. I, my prayer would be that you would find Jesus Christ and you would change your ways and you would get rid of your wickedness before that point. Because right now, if you're hearing this and it's on your heart like, probably walking down the wrong, wrong path, probably shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Right now, you can change. Don't wait another second. Don't click onto the next video. Don't click out of this video. Repent. Tell God you're sorry. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Because if you're hearing this, it's not too late. It's not too late. And if somehow it is too late, if you're in a place where you're, you're, you're done, you're finished, at least in this life, if you repent before God, at least when it comes to the next life, at least at that point, you will know forgiveness and you'll know God's love and his kindness. Even if it's too late in this life, if you're hearing this message, it's not too late for the next. And most of the time, if you're hearing this, it's not too late for this life either. So again, don't click away. Don't click out. Don't just move on with your life. Don't just leave. Change now. Change while you can because your wickedness will eventually find you out and you will be ensnared on the snare that you yourself set. Guys, thank you very much for watching this message. It was a bit serious, but it was obviously very, very important. 
and hopefully it will minister to whoever watches it. I love you, and God bless.